Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to go over where you should buy a domain name. So before we dive in, I just wanted to tell you a bit more about myself and why I feel that I'm a good person to cover this kind of topic. So I started domaining part-time in about 2010, and I've been selling domain names on the side ever since. I really almost did it full-time for about a year at one point, but it's always been a hobby of mine, and I actually made an entire course that was five hours long about how to profitably buy and sell domain names a couple years ago. So I really feel like I have a good feel for the domain name industry as a whole and a lot of different aspects that the average user probably doesn't really know about or understand when it comes to domain names. So here I'm going to cover what makes a registrar good and how there's different registrars that you might want to use based on your goals or what you're trying to accomplish here with a domain registrar. So I'll tell you about which ones I recommend specifically for certain things that you're going to be trying to use a registrar for. So let's dive in. My favorite registrar for purchasing domain names that I'm going to use to build out is Namecheap right here. I'm going to have links to these in the description below, but none of them are going to be affiliate links except maybe the last one here. So I use Namecheap to register most of my domain names that I use to build out websites or client websites for that matter. So the reason why I do this is because they're affordable. They have a great panel or dashboard once you're signed into your account. You can view it and it's very easy to make changes within their dashboard. I think it's the best one there is out of maybe the 20 or so registrars I've tried over the years. And basically their names are competitively priced. They have almost every type of TLD you can imagine here if you wanted to search for something other than .com as an example. And they also have who is, which is privacy on each of the domain names. Now, some other registrars make you pay more for privacy. And I think it's maybe the most annoying thing when you first start a website. If you don't have your who is information private, such as your email and your phone number, you're going to get spam with all of these calls. My brother actually went through this the other day. He signed up for a domain name and I was going to tell him, all right, I'll set up your hosting. And he said, I've already gotten 20 phone calls. I don't know what's going on. They're emailing me. I got all these spam emails too. What's happening? And I'm like, I bet he didn't have who is information on his account. And sure enough, I went and checked and he didn't. And then I turned it on and he stopped getting all these calls and emails the next day. But it's a real pain when you first try to set up a website, especially if it's your first time using a registrar, you want to have this who is information. The only time that you might not want to have who is enabled in my mind is if you're buying and selling domain names because you want to give people another opportunity to get in touch with you as the domain owner if you're trying to sell it. Besides that though, I don't think you ever really want to have a reason why you'd want to have the who is privacy off on something like this. Now they also have some of the best support in the industry as well and I highly recommend you check them out as far as domain names go. They do actually have very affordable hosting plans as well but I think there's just much faster better hosting providers out there and you just want your website to be as fast as possible so I don't actually recommend them for hosting but they are affordable for domains and hosting if you're just trying to get started as cheap as you can. So the next one I'm going to move on to here is called Name Silo. And I know many people probably don't even know what Name Silo is, but they're a big player in the domain name industry and one that a lot of people that buy and sell domain names use to have their domain names registered at. And the reason is because they're very affordable. Now, right now I see it says it's $8.99 for a .com. They often have sales and I've gotten domain names here at $5.99 in bulk. I've gotten like 100 domain names at $5.99 before on Name Silo in the past and then I ended up flipping all of them. I only actually was flipping them for like 20 or 30 bucks but it ends up adding up pretty quick once you do that. So Name Silo is a great option for affordable domain names. Actually these prices right here look very similar to what Namecheap has and I will say I like Namecheap's interface a little bit more than I do Name Silos here. But Name Silo is probably overall the cheapest one in the industry. And they've actually started to upgrade their back end and make it a little bit more user friendly. They've got pretty good support, but again, I like Name Cheaps a little bit more. But it's a good alternative and it's one that many domainers use for themselves. 
So the next one here is going to be the biggest one that I'm going to cover out of these four, and this is GoDaddy. So GoDaddy here is probably the biggest is probably the biggest registrar in the world as far as I know. It may be the second, but I would think it's the first and the largest in the world. Now, I just want to say that I do not like GoDaddy for one-off purchases. If you're going to just purchase a domain name and then change the name servers and point it at a different web host, I highly recommend that you go with somebody else besides GoDaddy. First of all, their domain names cost more to register for .com, .net, whatever it is, and then the renewal fees are higher with them as well. So their renewal fee is sometimes two to three times higher than what name silos is or twice as high as what name cheaps is and on top of that you have to pay extra for who is privacy protection in most cases so another thing that you don't want to deal with is paying more for the domain name and then on top of it paying more for the who is privacy protection i also don't think that their back end is that user friendly and i don't think their live chat support is very good as well when i've dealt with it at times, there's been times where I've had to wait an hour just to talk to someone, and then there's other times where it's a few minutes. But I never have that experience with Namecheap. When I'm doing it, Namecheap's always better. However, GoDaddy has something really good going for it, and that is they have the GoDaddy Discount Club, which you can get into by paying up front a monthly fee. It's around $10 a month, but if you're a domainer who's going to have hundreds or thousands of domain names that you're buying and selling, it pays because then your renewal fees are much lower. It goes down to like $8.99 or $8 for a renewal fee compared to $18, which is something that you would normally pay for a renewal fee on a GoDaddy domain name. So it really pays to get into the GoDaddy Discount Club if you have a larger portfolio of domain names. Again, for one-off purchases, I don't really like it. And GoDaddy also has something else going for it, and that's that they have a very good GoDaddy auctions platform for expired domain names and closeout domains. And that's basically when someone doesn't renew their domain name, it goes into an expiration period. I actually covered this for almost an hour of the course that I made previously. And it goes into all the ways that you can find expiring domain names and purchase them, use different filters to find them. And you can make a business or make money on the side just by buying these expired domain names and flipping them for more money in the future. Now, it is a buy and hold thing. You're not going to make it quick. Usually, usually you have to hold it for a year or two at least before you can flip it for anything because there's not just a whole lot of people in the market searching for your specific name. You might only have a 3 or 4% sell-through rate. However, there's a big opportunity there and GoDaddy has the biggest aftermarket for these through their platform. To give you an example, there's usually around 40,000 or so domain names expiring that go through this GoDaddy auction platform every single day. So that's a lot of domain names passing through there and there's a lot of diamonds in the rough when you start looking through the domain name list and searching and really putting your time in to find domain names. Now if that's something that you're not interested in at all, then I would recommend looking at something like these other options that I mentioned here. Now the last option that I wanted to cover is actually Green Geeks and I'm just doing Green Geeks as this example. I would say that your last option is purchasing the domain name through where you're hosting the domain at. Now for me that involves Green Geeks or SiteGround. Those are the two hosts that I use and if I wanted to purchase a domain name and have it on Green Geeks hosting, I might just buy it at Green Geeks just so it's all under one platform and easy for me to track. And then I also don't usually have to go through the process of changing the name servers to set up the hosting. It's usually live almost instantly once I sign up for the account because it's already on their name servers because you bought the domain name through their platform. So if you don't want to have to worry about changing name servers or having this downtime of this propagation period before you can actually start building out your website, it pays to just buy it through whoever you're getting your hosting at. And for Green Geeks here, if you were to purchase the hosting, you get a free domain name on the plan. So it says free domain name for first year for each of these plans. So you can see that. Now, that's something I totally recommend you take advantage of if you just want to have it the easiest way to set it up. Just have it on that plan. Now, keep in mind, the renewals are probably going to be a little bit higher than Namecheap or Namesilo, but they might be more in line with like GoDaddy's 
15 18 dollar renewal something like that for your domain name but you do get it free for the first year and that just gives you the opportunity to try to make something out of that site and build it up in that first year at no additional cost it's almost giving you a free roll in a way to see what you can do so i hope this was helpful and Again, I really say that you should choose your registrar based on whatever your needs are. If you want to get into buying and selling domain names, I would recommend that you go with GoDaddy. If you want to just buy a one-off domain name and link it to your hosting and do it for as cheap as you can, I would go with something like Namecheap or NameSilo. And if you just want an easy setup for the process, I would just go through something like GreenGeeks where you're going to get the free domain name for the first year. And I will have a link to them in the description below. That's the only affiliate link that I'm going to have out of these four here. And I recommend that you would do that if you just want to have an easy, smooth setup process and get the free domain name for the first year with the hosting as well. So I hope that you found this to be helpful and it kind of gave you an idea of some things to think about when you're going to a registrar and what registrar to pick. There's really about a hundred or so registrars that I know of out there. And there's so many different options that you can go with. But this is the way that I would view registrars and how you're going to go about picking one when you go to register your domain name in the first place. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And feel free to subscribe for more WordPress-related content. Thanks for viewing. Have a good one.